Warning, this procedure deals with highly toxic gases that are corrosive and very irritating, such as concentrated ammonia. Please use extreme caution when working with them and work in a fume hood or outside. Hey everyone, in this video I am making hydrazine sulfate, and I mean it this time, as opposed to my last video on hydrazine where I tried an adaptation of the Hoffman degradation that did not work. This time I am using the hypochlorite ketazine process, and I will be making hydrazine sulfate. So stirring right now I have 250 milliliters of concentrated ammonia and 100 milliliters of methyl ethyl ketone in a 1 liter tall form beaker. And here I have 0.25 moles or 186 grams of 10% sodium hypochlorite. Uh, this has been stirring for a while now and um, I'm going to be slowly adding the hypochlorite to the MEK and ammonia mix um, over a period of about 10 minutes. And when I do this off gassing is going to be observed, this is mostly nitrogen. What I'm making when I do that is methyl ethyl ketazine, which I will later convert to hydrazine sulfate. Uh, if you want to go pro and do this with a higher yield, uh, surrounding this in an ice bath would help. Um, adding the bleach on a slow drip rate with a SEP funnel or some sort of addition funnel would be a good idea. And um, adding a little bit of gelatin would help too. But these are very cheap chemicals and it's really easier just to do it the more crude way and then just do it again. So anyway, I'm going to take up some bleach and add that. Okay, we can see some bubbles forming. All right. Well, I'm going to slowly continue to add bleach for the next couple minutes, and I will let you know when I'm done. Immediately after I stopped stirring, you can see two layers are formed, the top containing um, methyl ethyl ketazine. Um, the bottom one is still cloudy, as you can see, so I'm going to wait for that to clear up and fully separate out, and then I will use a SEP funnel to decant off that top layer. So, ooh, better look at it. Okay, now since I've uh, finished the reaction, I let it sit for a while to separate into two layers and then pour it in a step funnel. So we want the top layer, so I'm discarding the bottom layer into this flask right now. And I will pull the top layer off and put it into this beaker. Okay, now that I've got the ketazine in this beaker, I'm going to get my 500 milliliter tall form beaker and add to it 100 milliliters of water. Next, I will pour in 20 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid. Uh, this is a very exothermic reaction, the dissociation of sulfuric acid, so um, be very careful. Okay. 10 milliliters first. Gonna get a stir bar. Very hot and possibly start to boil. A little bit of fumes observe. I'm going to add 10 more milliliters. Alright, now while this uh, sulfuric acid solution is still very hot, pour the methyl ethyl ketazine directly into it. What we're doing is hydrolyzing it to methyl, or to methyl ethyl ketone and to hydrazine sulfate. The next step is going to be to boil it. Uh, boiling it will remove the methyl ethyl ketone and drive the reaction forward to produce more hydrazine sulfate. So I'm going to stick this on my hot plate and boil it. Okay, now that I've added the ketazine to the acid, I'm going to go ahead and heat up 
hot stir. I'm going to go ahead and heat up the mixture to drive off the methyl ethyl ketone and drive that reversible reaction forward. This will produce hydrazine sulfate. After it's boiled down a bit, I will add it to this ice bath here to crystallize the hydrogen sulfate and then vacuum filter. And we can see it boiling pretty nicely now. Okay, once I know that I've boiled off most of the methyl ethyl ketone, I will submerge it into an ice bath. Uh, and this will cause crystallization of hydrazine sulfate. So I'm going to let it cool down a bit before I just dunk it in there. It's still kind of warm. So once I see crystals of hydrazine sulfate, I'll go ahead and vacuum filter it in this vacuum filter here. Okay, it's starting to crystallize, so I'll get back to you once crystallization has finished. And look at that, we're getting pretty nice crystal formation. I'll keep cooling it and stirring it and then vacuum filter. Just ran the vacuum filter and here's what I've got in my Buchner funnel, a pretty good quantity of hydrazine sulfate. I'll dry this and store it in a vial. Okay, so here's my yield um, of hydrazine sulfate, about uh, two grams. So There you are, hydrazine sulfate.